Princess Anne is scheduled to depart for Dubai as she continues to stand by King Charles. Princess Anne is scheduled to embark on her second royal tour of 2024 on March 1st amid a scarcity of senior working royals. As she continues to stand by her brother, King Charles, Princess Anne is scheduled to depart for Dubai on Friday. After receiving an unknown cancer diagnosis earlier this month, the king is presently taking a break from his public appearances. To go on her second royal trip of the year, the 75-year-old has enlisted his younger sister, as there seems to be a dearth of senior royals. On Friday, March 1, as president of the mission to seafarers, the Princess Royal will go to the United Arab Emirates. A significant portion of all royal visits last year were handled by Anne, who is sometimes referred to as the most diligent of the royals. Anne will visit the busiest port in the Middle East, DP World's Jebel Ali port, upon her arrival to learn more about the cutting-edge technologies in use there. Additionally, Anne will stop by a panel discussion at the Women in Shipping and Trading Conference. She is going to be there to hear about the significance of the welfare of seafarers, specifically focusing on women in shipping and trade. Al Minhad Air Base's new Donnelly Lines facilities will also be opened by the King. In addition to the King resigning from office, the Princess of Wales has done the same for the time being. Princess Kate, 42, spent 13 days in the hospital last month before undergoing stomach surgery on January 16. Since then, she has been recovering at home in Windsor. Following his wife's surgery, William also took a leave of absence, but he still gave his young family priority. William has since resumed attending engagements. Among individuals who have had to step up and represent the monarchy, when necessary include Princess Anne, Queen Camilla, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie are examples of other royals who are not officially employed by the Queen and have never served in that capacity. Anne is considered to be the one who completely understands pressure that the King is under, despite her position as the 17th heir. Third in line, Anne is becoming more and more known as Charles's right-hand woman.